As the special representative on human trafficking issues, I especially want to thank you, Madam President, for your extraordinary efforts to combat the cruelty of sex and labor trafficking. My full report uh, is online, and it's, there's also copies in the back if members would like to see it. As we all know, the predators who exploit and abuse vulnerable women, children, and men never cease in their nefarious work. They never take a holiday, nor can we. Our commitment to pr preventing human trafficking, protecting and rescuing victims, and prosecuting those who commit these horrific crimes must be strong and must be tenacious. I respectfully submit that as we emerge from the pandemic, each of us need to examine our anti-trafficking laws and action plans that were in place during COVID-19 and decide whether or not new initiatives are needed. Are each of our laws, for example, and action plans being implemented to the maximum extent possible? What good is a law that sits on the shelf collecting dust? Trafficking survivors, many of them, have lost their jobs and homes in this struggling economy that we all face. And is law enforcement prioritizing catching the bad guys and prosecuting prosecutors and judges holding uh, perpetrators to account? with stiff jail sentences that are commensurate with the crime. As the prime author of the U.S. Trafficking Victims Protection Act of 2000, my country's historic comprehensive law to combat sex and labor trafficking, I believe we are all capable of doing so much more. 